Here we are looking down from the cliff top down onto the beach and as you can see there's some horse riders coming round and will be coming round under where we're standing now. We've got to make our way to that edge near where they are to get down onto the beach and then we can walk around and uh, take some more images of the conditions as we go. So we'll see you a little later. Well, that's another property that's uh, had its day. And there's the remains of the sea defence. Have you spotted the seals in this scene yet? Have a look, it's top of the picture. That gives you a pretty good idea just how bad it is along the beach here. Certainly when we come to this part here I'm certainly not getting any closer to the the edge. Very precarious. Well, as you can probably see, the council has roped off this part of the of the dunes to try and give it a chance to make some kind of recovery. And from down on the beach here, you can just see quite how bad that erosion's been. <coughs> now to think I was just up on the top looking down at those horse riders. I'm not quite sure what we're looking at there, whether that is sea defence This is where I was standing, on the top of the cliff there, and looking down on these slabs. As you can see,
quite thick sections of concrete and edging. Here we have the remains of the sea defence. Concrete boulders. Make our way a bit further down. Here I've taken a couple of images of these concrete boulders and uh, you can see the size of them. They obviously did make some difference but not, not enough. And we shall see what the future brings. Now you can see some of the infrastructure. Quite a big crack in the cliff there. Over here we have some pipes that would have been feeding the properties that once stood where I'm standing now on the beach. Right, we're going to want to get back up. I'm not sure if we can from this point without going right the way back where we came from. Made it to the top of the cliffs and uh, making our way back now to the car park. And well, <coughs> we're up on top of the cliffs now walking back towards the car park you go over here you'll be able to see so we're looking down on the cliffs Parks there in the distance. Being too old, too old for all this climbing about. It certainly gives you an idea of the situation here. The uh, cliffs and the beach area on the roofs. Fred. We're uh, making our way back. I did stop at the cafe and uh, got myself a coffee which was well deserved, well needed and uh, certainly helped to revitalise me so um, and then it was back to the car. <sighs> well as you can see we're back in the car now <coughs> from our little trip down to the beach which was uh, interesting to say the least. Hope you found it informative. Um, if you have, 
then please click on the subscribe button um, and also give it a thumbs up as well. That all helps the channel and for YouTube to uh, keep promoting the video or the videos that I do. And if you subscribe, then you will get notified of when the next next one of my videos uh, is published. So that will all be good. So as I say, many thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I will bring you some more interesting um, videos out and about around my fairly local area. Um, we're about eight miles, I suppose. Yeah, about eight miles away from where I live. So it's all fairly much on my patch. What I consider my patch anyway. Okay, thanks very much. Catch you next time. Cheers. This is a bit further up the coast at Haysborough. And as you can see, it's suffering badly. As uh, quite a lot of our coastline is here in Norfolk. So hopefully it's not too late to do something about it. Uh, this climate change is definitely having an effect and we all need to do our bit.